Okay, hi everybody, I'm Jen here at Jam Studios and today we're going to be reviewing the belt box. The people at BeltYourFaceOff.com uh, got hold of us after a student recommended this product to us for review and sent us a sample to have a play with and have a look at. So first of all, BeltBox is only available via the American website, retails at about $49.99, that's US dollars, so you'll have to convert that and pay the import on it if you order it into the UK. Could take a little while to come in as well. So what you get, it comes in a very nice kind of 1920s Art Deco kind of lettered box, and you get some instruction safety notices, and you get one belt box, including a foam insert here, or wash apparently and one strap with which to wear it so the belt box promises a few things its main thing is to act as a vocal dampener for singers who are practicing and maybe want to be quieter they uh, cite a few examples so say for example you're on tour you want to warm up in your hotel room you live in terraced housing you don't want to disturb your neighbors you want to warm up in the bathroom without waking your partner up in the morning that kind of thing uh, which is also why they recommend that it's fully waterproof and washable. So the belt box is designed to fit over your face, uh, much like a half mask. It can sit over the nose. They say it can sit under the nose. We'll try that in a minute. And you can opt to hold it to your face or to strap it to your face. So we're going to try a couple of things just to test the fit, first of all. So first of all, we're just going to try it held to the face. What I'm going to do, I'm going to sing a passage of a song that's normally quite belty, going with the name here, and then I'm going to apply the belt box, and then we'll have a little chat about it with each play. Okay, so I'm going to start by singing the passage of a song uh, that's normally quite belty, one I do often, that tends to be quite loud. Uh, just by its very nature. I'm going to do a passage without the belt box, then I'm going to try it with just the belt box held to my face. I'll do it again without, and then do it with the belt box strapped to my face and see what difference that makes. Okay, so we're going to measure the decibel level of just me, no belt box. Left a good job in the city, working for the man every night and day, but I never lost one minute of sleep things might happen so quite loud let's try it now with the belt box just held to the face and we'll see how it fits on the bridge of the nose and under the chin left a good job in the city working for the man every night and day but i never lost one minute of sleep and worrying about the way things might happen Okay, so it definitely acts as a dampener there. Little loose under the chin for me. Now that might be my face shape. It could depend on your face shape. Um, I've got quite a wide but short nose and it's not sitting particularly well at the top there. Let's see if the strap makes a difference. Okay, so the strap that you're given, I suspect this is not waterproof. So I don't know whether that means you're supposed to hold it to your face in the shower. That probably comes with its own set of safety recommendations. I would proceed with caution if you're gonna do that. So this strap is adjustable. It is made of elastic for the most part, but the front part is rope. So don't get that wet, that's not a great idea. Um, it goes over the nose section of the belt box and they recommend that you wear it under your ears so that you're not clamping over your ears and thereby making it impossible for you to judge where you're singing. Although it must be said, when you're hearing yourself through this, you're probably hearing yourself through bone conduction more than anything because a lot of the nuance is lost. Okay, so we're going to try it at a fairly tight setting. I'm going to wear it under the ears and see how it goes. Let's adjust that. Left a good job in the city. Working for the man every night and day. Oop, uh, has a tendency to slip down there. I deliberately didn't wear any foundation today so it wouldn't slide on anything. Uh, I can't imagine if you were busy washing your hair or anything that soap would make that any easier. So it has a tendency to slip with the strap. I strongly suspect that future models might integrate the strap into the body of the plastic section. 
I want to try one more thing, which is taking the rubber section, plastic section off and just using the foam insert to see whether you get a little bit more nuance with it and whether you get a better fit because this is more flexible. So we're just going to try that. Left a good job in the city Working for the man every night and day You still get quite a bit of dampening with that and it's a much neater, more comfortable fit. I have to say, with the rubber piece attached, it creates quite a bit of back pressure. For those who are really heavy belters, you know that you're shooting out quite a lot of air pressure at that point. And it can feel like it gets caught up in here. I don't know whether the air flows that freely. The purpose of this, let's be honest, is for when you're really in a pickle and you need to quieten down. You can see from our decibel count, it definitely does that. It muffles you. Whether it allows you to then pay attention to what you're doing, that's debatable. Not necessarily a regular practice tool. Useful for doing some warm-ups and for trying out a few belts uh, when you're in a situation where you can't make much noise. I can imagine that just before a gig, maybe a smaller venue where there isn't a quiet space in which to practice, that could be useful for doing some of the warm-ups. Although pre-gig, if you wear makeup, you'd have to be careful not to spread it all over your face. Uh, I personally prefer it without the strap, so let's get rid of that. Like this. Honestly, it has limited functionality for what it is, but it does what it says on the tin, which is to quieten you down. I think the strap's going to need revision for it to get a better review for me, but I can imagine it being used in a variety of scenarios. I'm going to keep hold of this and see whether it has other applications as we go throughout the year. Thank you for watching.